Hello! Welcome to our art demonstration video today. My name is Miss Karen and I am going to help you paint a beautiful picture of a field of poppies. And it is inspired by Claude Monet, an impressionist painter. I hope you were able to pick up your art to go bag this week. It contains all the supplies that are needed to do this project. So let's begin with our painting today. We're going to be using watercolor paints and we have a foam brush and we also have the brush that goes along with the paint set. Now watercolor paints are very dry when you first open up your, uh, your paints and so we need to add some water in order to uh, make the paint liquid. So I'm going to be using the yellow today. I'm gonna to use the blue. Now our palette has two colors of blue so I think I'm going to use both today the light blue and the dark blue and then we also need green there are two greens too so we might be able to use both of those and then let's see we need the red to make the poppies all right maybe even pink too we could combine some color to make those poppies so we're going to begin with the yellow so I'm going to paint the bottom half of my of my paper, my watercolor paper, with the yellow paint. So first, I need to get the yellow paint wet. Now the more water that I add to that paint, the lighter my yellow is going to be. I'm gonna start with the bottom half of my paper. And I'm just gonna brush from side to side. There's my yellow background. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my foam brush. Okay, I'm gonna turn this paper around so I can work on, it's going to be the top, but I'm gonna turn it around so that I can get it closer to me, and this'll be the sky. And I'm gonna turn that around to make it easier to reach. Okay, so first I need to wet my blue so that we can Use the blue for the sky. So put a little in the dark blue, a little water in the light blue. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with my light blue. Let's see what color that well, looks like a pretty good sky. Kind of reminds me of a summer day. Okay, when I'm happy with the color of my sky, then I'm gonna clean off my foam brush again, and then I'm gonna turn it around because I'm done with the top, the sky, so I'm just gonna turn it around and let it dry, and I want to work on the flowers next. Now, I noticed that the paint is still pretty wet at the bottom of my painting. So I need for that to be really dry so that my colors don't run all over the place when I try to paint the next color. So we might wanna just let this sit for a little bit, maybe five minutes or so, go do something else, come back to it after it's nice and dry and we can do the next, we can do the next step. Now that the yellow is pretty dry right now, I'm going to start by making the stems of our poppies. So I'm going to need green next. So I'm gonna take my foam brush and I'm going to wet the green paint. I don't wanna add a lot of water because I want this to be pretty thick. So there we go. I think I'm just gonna use that green. All right, now, your paint set also comes with a brush. So I'm gonna start by wetting my brush because it's kind of stiff. If I put it in water, that'll soften it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add lots of green stems. So I'm gonna dip in my paint and just make a stem. Now what's kind of fun about the stems is you just kind of make a, ooh, that one's gonna be a tall one. And I wanna make them kind of close together. I'm gonna do all different 
heights of my stem and I'm going to put them pretty close together too. Because this field of poppies is just going to be full of poppies. I'm going to add just a little more water. You can decide how many of these poppies you'd like. Add some green. Okay, now I think I'm done with my green. I need to make my poppies next. So I'm going to use three colors for my poppies. I'm going to use red. I'm going to use orange and I'm also going to use yellow. So I'm going to add some water to each of those colors. Okay, we're going to make some poppies next. We need our fingers for that. We're going to dip our fingertip okay. and then at the top of each of my stems I'm going to put my fingertip. Ooh, here we go. And I can make that as dark as I want. Okay. Probably the less paint you put on your in your palette, the better when you get to these flowers, because that paint needs to be pretty thick. There. I'm going to wipe my finger off. The next color I'm going to add is orange and I'm going to do the same thing with my finger. My last color is yellow. My yellow is already kind of wet because I used it to paint the background. So I'm going to see if I can just dip my finger in there a little bit, add it right to the center. The center of a poppy is yellow. So we don't need a lot of yellow, just a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I like the colors. It all blends in nicely, but it still needs to dry. So I'm just gonna leave it right here on the table and let it dry completely. And then when it's dry, don't forget to sign your name in the corner because that is your special piece of artwork. Thanks for joining me today. I had a lot of fun painting my field of poppies inspired by Claude Monet, the famous French painter, and I hope you did too. Join us again next week for live story time on Tuesdays and also another art demonstration next Thursday morning. Have fun, bye.